Welcome to Let's Play. Ah! Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play this week. Uh, I'm your host Bobby F. J. J. Town. Joining us once again is Sorg. Sorg, how you doing and what'd you play this week? I'm doing alright. I played some Call of Duty Ghosts. Playing a lot of stuff on my phone. Oh. And I read a little bit of comic books. Awesome. Uh, Chachi, what'd you play and how are you doing this week? I am doing great, except for the fact that I keep getting shot. Oh, I am no. play I'm not playing Call of Duty Ghosts right now, um, <laughs> but I, I did play. Wait, wait, yeah, wait! Yeah. You're getting yeah. shot, and, and you're not playing Call of Duty. Ghosts? He lives in a right. bad neighborhood, guys. Wow, I do. <laughs> um, no, I uh, I played Ghosts. I played uh, Game Dev Story on my phone because you guys were talking about it on Twitter, and mm. I like that game. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Uh, Riz, what'd you play and how are you doing this week? I am doing awesome now. <laughs> uh, I'm doing a lot better than this weekend. I, I yeah. gotta tell you that. Um, but I, let's see, what did I play this weekend? For 24 hours. Oh, I beat Call of Duty. I play. I played and beat The Undertaker's Streak with Zack Ryder as someone <laughs> who generously donated. It didn't take, beat, take you that long either. It didn't. I thought it was. Um, I played. What did I play? Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder was my fault. Zack Ryder is Zack Ryder is your fault. Anyways, I played. I forget who donated, but uh, they asked who I who they should make you play as. Jess. <laughs> it was Jess. And I so played, I said Zack Ryder, and it happened. So thanks for that person. <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, Grand Theft Auto. Um, I did play a little bit of online – or not online game. Mobile gaming with uh, Little Death, Death Star. Uh, Giant Ball of Death. And what else? There's more. Oh, in, in, the, in the realm of the same area as Giant Ball of Death. I did download Rock of Ages, which is pretty much just rolling a boulder into a a castle door and then squishing somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, I then I then I downloaded again um, the Deadliest Warrior Legends, and I almost went through everyone everyone's story mode which is pretty much just them killing random people um and then i i'm gonna finish off with uh i did play a little bit of minecraft on the xbox 360 i know you, you know my history with minecraft and <laughs> this was pretty much just a random game that i played and um Doing so, I picked up the skins and the um, background of the Mass Effect world, and I did not know that there were creepers and uh, Endermen in Mass Effect. Hmm. But Bobby, okay. hey Bobby, hi, how are I'm, you doing? I'm doing better. I'm a little tired. And what as, have you been playing? We were, both were. I have my list right here. I did not beat my record of 33 games last year that I played. I only played 31 games. Only. Um, I played Fester's Quest first because Jess donated money for me to play that game for 15 minutes. It, was, it wasn't it was as bad as I thought it was going to be. So I played it for 20 minutes. <laughs> um, I played Mario Brothers, uh, Punch-Out, Mario Brothers 2, Excite Bike. Simpsons arcade game, which I beat, Chachi. Wow, you beat an old game. Yay. What? I beat a game. But that's not the big one I beat. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Metal Gear Solid Revenge Revengeance I played, Revenge uh, Bioshock Infinite, Sleeping Dogs, Dark Souls, Arkham City, Deadpool, Far Cry 3, Rumble Roses, which I had to play for, for uh, that just donated $100 for. Um, that game is weird. And Very full of weird. nightmares. Um, I played NHL 14, WWE 14, 
Uh, Portal 2, which I beat accidentally. No, no, I, no, no, no. <laughs> that was accidentally because I was at the end of the game and I, I just played the end of the game again. Uh, Daytona USA, which I played the demo for. Um, Pokemon X, that was the big one I beat. I finished Pokemon X. Uh, Call of Duty, Ghosts, we've all played that. Um, I played The Last of Us and got stuck. Uh, PlayStation All-Stars um, Battle Royale, which I beat. Um, Shadows of the, Shadow of the Colossus, Nino Kuni, Skyrim, GTA V, uh, and then two. Oh, Mega Man 2, Kirby's Adventure, and Saints Row 4, and Animal Crossing. Those were all the games I played during the 25-hour game of one. That's the only game I didn't. I wanted to play, but I didn't. Uh, Saints Row 4. I wanted to play that yeah, I, during that. Yeah, I, I snuck it in right at the end because I was I wanted to play it and I forgot about it. And I went back and I'm like, I'll play it for like 10 minutes. And I played that the last 10 minutes withholding my uh, 3DS playing Mega Man and Kirby. And oh, Crossing. and, and just, just so you know, uh, Bobby, you'd be surprised and happy to know mm-hmm. that I did play Marvel Avengers Alliance. Oh, I did too. For th- and but then I didn't I play for the 24 hour thing. And then I stopped. <laughs> uh, okay, so you beat Portal 2. And well, you beat... no, that doesn't no, count. Because no, that no, was no, at the no, end no, of the no, game. Chachi, don't give him. Don't yeah, don't give, give me credit, credit for that one. I, I beat it before. Okay. But I was at the end of the game and I forgot and I started playing and I'm like, oh, I'm at the end of the game here. And my save file, I might as well just finish it. And it was like two minutes. <laughs> Okay, so, so you beat uh, Pokemon XY. That's the only game I'm going to count. Why? PlayStation All-Stars was pretty long. No. It's a fighting game. It's a fighting game, yeah, but it was it was actually longer than I thought it was going to be. No, doesn't count. What about Simpsons Arcade? Nope, doesn't count. Oh. Why doesn't it count? Because you've had like 20 years to beat it. <laughs> <laughs> I never finished it before. I don't care. You had like Plus 20 how- years to beat it. Time well, I beat a game on that one. The, the challenge was How to long? beat a game, and I did that. I beat Pokemon X, and that took me 31 to 35 hours, I think. Oh, oh. How many? How long did it take you to beat that game during the 24 hours? 45 hours. I'd say about two hours. I mean, how 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 long down the 24 hour 25 hours did you play Pokemon X? Three. I, I was playing it at almost at the end. Oh. Oh. You know what yeah. I played for the first four hours? What's that? Oh, that's Call right. Duty you Ghost. Too. Yeah. And guess what? I beat it. You beat it, yeah. Hey, uh, you guys know what I beat the day I bought? <laughs> Assassin's Creed. No. That Call, oh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> yeah, Ghost. can we talk about that? We, we yeah, can't. We we'll can. get to it later. We can. It's part of our uh, new segment here. But okay. we got another segment, which is things you should be made aware of and new releases. Oh, oh, oh. Before we get there, though, we had a challenge. Our challenge was Home Alone. That's why I slapped my face at the beginning of the podcast. Mm. It screamed. Did anybody play this? No, I was too busy playing no, real nightmares. games and beating nightmares. them, Bobby. I played. I played this game. I was too busy living life. <laughs> Which I version did you play? I should have. I, I I played the Super Nintendo version. It was. Remember how I said Blues Brothers was the worst game we had as a challenge? Yeah. We have a we have a new winner. It was um. It was uh, Home Alone. I've never had a game scream at me in a high pitched like sound that was so shrill that I had to shut the game off. Describe when the you, game for us, please. You're Kevin, you're going through the house, you start off in his bedroom and you bounce around on his bed. You go into different doors, as we're seeing here in this video, and you shoot a squirt gun at bad guys, but the squirt gun doesn't kill the bad guys, it only freezes them and you can't run into them while they're still frozen oh I didn't know you could do that I'm stupid (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> but anyways, it was weird. And and every time you die in the game, Kevin comes up and slaps his face like and just like the sound that the the, the game makes is so high pitched. It's I'm just like, no, I'm done. I'm done with this game. I immediately shut it off. <laughs> but you go around collecting candelabras and just it, it, it has nothing yeah, to do with Home Alone. Remember Other happening than your in Kevin. the movie where you have to collect candelabras? Yeah. yeah. I, I remember that happening. Yeah. Yeah. No. Kevin collected so many of the damn things, it was ridiculous. They should have called yeah. it cam, uh, candelabra alone. Uh, but it, yeah, it was it was one of the bad ones. But our challenge for this week is maximum carnage for the, oh, either either yes. the Super Nintendo or the Sega Genesis. And if you're not familiar oh, with Maximum okay. Carnage, it was a Spider-Man game starring Venom and Carnage and Spider-Man. It's the first game that I bought on my own. Wow, it was a great game. I remember playing it. So I figured we we'd, we'd have a good one for Super Nintendo and and um, Sega. Not crap. Yeah. Anybody remember the band? The band that was associated with that game? Green Jelly, baby. Yep. Green pig, Jelly. And the also, end. the Super Nintendo cartridge uh, came in red. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Um, the, I remember this. I have fond memories of this one. Um, for as oh, Sorg actually has the game. Yeah, I got it right here for the Sega Genesis. Nice. I feel like I think my brother might have a copy of this for the SNES. I, if I recall, I can't. I, I don't know. But uh, uh, I remember it was awesome because it had so many different superheroes in it, you know. Um, and I think uh, you could play as yeah, you could play as Spider Man or Venom in this one. And it was the first of a series. Um, they had a, a. I can't remember what the other ones were now. Uh, but yeah, there was like I think there was like two or three of these with the uh, uh, Spider-Man. There's separation anxiety. Separation was one. anxiety was one, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, definitely like the first, um, the first good beat 'em up Spider-Man. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it had that kind of side scroller Ninja Turtles, uh, the arcade game kind of feel to it. Um, it was kind of fun. Definitely kind of yeah. fun. So yeah. I, so we're looking forward to play that one. Is everybody gonna play it this week? I think I might have, to, I have to hook up my Genesis, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find a way. Cool. All right, uh, we're going to get to our thing. Wait, wait, oh. hold on. Let me prep, prep it. Oh. Oh. All right, it's <laughs> good to go. I had nice. to do that so many times this weekend. <laughs> I was trying to get Lee Trevino's fighting golf to work, and it didn't work. <laughs> and I was trying to get tag team wrestling to work, and that didn't work. Punch out worked. So I was glad some of your punch, punch out. Worked. That was cool. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was ridiculous. And then my excite bike on that emulator, the one level, like the third level, I think it was, your the the color of the obstacles was the same as the color of the track. <laughs> so I could not see where I was going. That was frustrating. <laughs> so I was done with that game. But anyways, we're gonna move on to things you should be made aware of. Um, this week, the new releases, um, the PS4 hasn't been released yet. However, the games are starting to come out. Today was the first day for games for PS4. Um, Knack came out today. Uh, the new Kill Zone and Drive Club um, and a couple other ones. Um, Sonic and Mario oh, at the Winter yeah. Olympic Games for Wii U came out. Oh. Um, a new version of Injustice, Gods Among Us edition, came out. So they added all the characters in, I guess. Uh, Barbie's Dream House Party yes. came out. Yes. Uh, Farming Simulator for the 360 and the PS3 and the PC. You had to look close at that one. Yeah, I might, I might check that one out. And um, finally, DLC that I've been waiting for, um, Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea comes out today. Um, I've heard it's n – like a lot of people are saying it's not very long at all. It's only like two hours long if you don't really – take the time to investigate things um but i'm, I'm kind of excited for it so. i've heard mixed reviews about it but yeah gonna, yeah I'm i did try, too i'm probably gonna have to try it out yeah after i got the season I'm, pass after so. i'm done with farming simulator yeah <laughs> after we're done with farming simulator but yeah, i got I the really season pass so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna download it today 
What's that, Chachi? I'm right down. You know what? I really need to farm my ass off. <laughs> it's like Harvest Moon again. Only for reals. Hey, that, that cornfield's not going to plow itself. Nope. All right. <laughs> Gotta get the kids to school. I need yep. to download that and, and download Amish Paradise and play it while I'm playing Farming Simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as all right, long another as you get video, oh, you have that? to have video of that. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, you are, Bobby. I use my Elgato. <laughs> That'll be on my Let's Play <laughs> for Elgato. All right. Um, another thing we 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 want to say thank you to everybody who donated for um our extra life thing. Um, we're gonna talk a little about about we a little bit about what went on that weekend. Um, we Riz, I know you were like almost dead tired at the end of the day. Yes, I was. Um, I was I was, I was a little was, more wide awake than everybody else. I thought. Um, beating Pokemon kind of gave me that boost that I needed at the end there. I was very upset. I'm okay. not gonna say why. Because then I found out I was an idiot. Oh, the hangout situation? That is all. <laughs> that is all. That is all I'm going to say. Because uh, I am on it right now. And I don't want the Google gods to hate me. Um, so carry on, Bob. I, I, know, I know that um, Kat was uh, really disappointed by not... She's, uh, her cousin made her play Amnesia, um, which is supposed to be really scary. Um, she said she went to the ba the restroom beforehand just so she wouldn't be, you know, all antsy and stuff. But she said that she was really disappointed and almost fell asleep playing it. So that uh, was one thing, of the highlights. The thing with the um, amnesia that you have to mm -hmm. realize is that you have to have like noise canceling headphones. Yeah. And you need the the sound effects to come out. And be more prolific than they were, probably. Yeah, I th I told her she should have played Outlast, which I heard that's really scary. And then she said her cousin's making her play Slenderman next year. Oh, Slender! So, they're Slender, yeah. So, oh, Jeffrey R. Slenderman. <laughs> I, I wonder. <laughs> I wonder his first wonder name if Jeffrey? Jeffrey. I wonder if Jeffrey Slenderman spells his name. With the J or the or the G. -E I, I think the F -F. I think the G is uh, scarier. Yeah. It spells like it's spelled like Joffrey from King, Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Joffrey Slenderman. Move on before we get trapped here. We have, you know, we have numbers. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do have uh, numbers. Riz, you want to <clears> give <throat> a total? <clears throat> well, let, before we go on to this year, last year. We did one thousand one hundred and two dollars. Mm -hmm. This year, one thousand one hundred and five. <laughs> we three dollars more. We did it. Actually, actually, there there will be more than that because I have cash on hand right now. Yeah, and so I, I have, have to send that in. I can't. I can't really um, figure out why, or because right now we are ranked well below where our goal was. Because on our team fundraising page, mm -hmm. it says we only have around nine hundred dollars, which is not true. Mm -hmm. I just checked it. Uh, but if if we did have nine hundred twenty-five dollars. Our overall rank, and this is kind of weird, is 609. <laughs> and if you're just joining us, tip, this is 69. Nine. Episode 69. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what yeah. that has anything to do with anything, but okay. All right, we're going to move I, on I, to our – but we just wanted to thank everybody for donating and um, supporting us. Um, and just we had a great time doing it, and we're probably going to do it next year. Um, Julie said she's going to approach things a lot differently because it was her first time doing this. So she said that she's definitely going to because she was probably the most tired out of all of us. Though. She said yeah, she kind of nodded off a little bit. She was 
probably what I was and what Bobby was last year. Yeah. And she played The Sims. And she locked Sims yeah. in things. <laughs> So. And I, I do I do have to appreciate this part of my wall because during that your little uh, cluster uh, mess up screw up, this wall became m- me. Yeah, and this wall, into a wall is awesome, just <laughs> like me. Uh, right, and also, uh, thanks to Bobby who actually at the last at the very last moment came up with the uh, hangout whenever I had the troubles. Yeah, I, I picked up the hangouts. He so. picked up the hangouts, so thank you, Bobby. And in and, and and the like, screenshots, it looks like I'm sleeping. I'm actually not. <laughs> you, you were sleeping. You were just playing I was playing, playing Pokemon. I was looking down at my, my 3DS. But I you was were just wide playing awake. the game as a ruse. I like, yep. I do like I like that the ladies are their webcams are right in their face so you can see exactly yeah. how they're awake they are and you guys are just kind of like off in the distance. Yeah, like, it, it looks, yeah it my couch like, was the star it, of the weekend. It, it, it feels like it feels. <laughs> it like, looks like I passed out. It looks like I passed out in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were just right up in Julie's face, right up in Cat's face when she pops up here. Mm-hmm. Let's see if I can find a shot of her. Uh, yeah. It, it, I'm trying to find Riz in here, but you don't pop up too much on here. That's uh, one of the one of the things I, I am most thankful for when I do Chachi plays. Your camera's <laughs> far away from you. Is that I have <laughs> Sorg to handle all of the uh, broadcast stuff for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I had yeah. The, I had my I had my Elgato going on my other stream. Yeah, we do our best. Um, we, and we do our Twitch. We do our best to uh, make things a little bit interesting uh, over the twenty four hours, and mm-hmm. and uh, but it, you guys, it was great. It was a great together time for you. I know. I I, I yeah. watched a little bit uh, there at like four in the morning on 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 Saturday night. So uh, that that was kind of interesting to watch you guys just go loopy. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, mm-hmm. We said we we're gonna try to get together and play games like not for 25 hours, but just every once in a while, just get together and have a I game. Like that. I like the like idea that. of a game night. Like, I mean, I know we yeah. do it sometimes with call of duty, like Friday night we get together, but just like, like we did with quake or something. Like yeah. That yeah. Just time. like, mm-hmm. just like you, you throw up a, a hangout and everybody's playing whatever they're playing and say, and you know, you guys converse, you know, um, I, I think that's great. I think it's, that's completely awesome. Um, so, and maybe it's something you can broadcast, something you guys can, you know, invite other people in. It could be fun. Yeah. We to be continued. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to move on to our news segment here. Mm-hmm. Um, Forza Five is coming out for the Xbox One, um, and uh, Fuzz wrote an article about it. Um, I really don't know much about the for for the regular Forza games. I played Forza Horizon, um, but he's saying that um, less is more with this one. Um, they in the original in Forza Four there were five hundred cars. Um, in this one, there's only going to be 200 cars, uh, down 300 cars from the last one. Um, but they said they're going to put a lot more detail into the different cars. Um, and there's only going to be 11 tracks, which not a lot of tracks for a racing game. Yeah, but uh, well, we just had uh, Chilla over on Awesome Cast. He got to attend mm-hmm. the uh, Xbox One mobile event up at Cranberry. Oh, good. Um, and he said it looks amazing. Uh, nice. the, the level of detail, the reflections, we had a little bit of video going here and I'll see if I can pull up the same one. I think I'm on the wrong website. Um, but yeah, we, the, 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 the detail is astonishing. So I think it's a matter of they're, they're not putting as many cars and everything in to make sure because they have to put so much into this level of detail mm-hmm. in the car. Um, and, and one of those, like the video I'm showing you guys here and I don't know how well it's shown for you guys in the hangout. It, yeah, it's pretty good. But uh, it says in-game footage, all in-game footage. So this, none of this is like extracurricular, you know, uh, uh, CG uh, kind of stuff. Pre-rendered. No, no. This is stuff that, that it looks like this when you boot up the Xbox One. That is impressive. Mm-hmm. And then I think it goes to, like, you got to think, you know, that's how much more work the art guys got to do. So what happens... Day. How many games you're going to see that are going to be this detailed? Because now the teams have to put that much more effort into each little pixel. Uh, you know, hy- hypothetically, uh, what does that do to the rest of it? Like the rest of the games. 
I don't know. Um, I, everybody has to step up, step up their game just because of Grand Theft Auto Five, mm-hmm. and the detail they put into that game. So, um, yeah, um, racing games are more. Um, they go for the glitz and glamour of the vehicles more than like content, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, but that, I mean, that's a racing game, though. Um, like I, I enjoyed Forza Horizon because it was more arcadey and it wasn't like a simulation like Grand, uh, like Gran Turismo, um, which I, I have Gran Turismo Five for the PS3. I really didn't didn't like it as much. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I remember playing Gran, Th- or Gran Turismo 2 and liking that, even though it was a slower-paced racing game. And I'm kind of with you. I'm kind of, uh, again, into the arcade mm-hmm. uh, you know, Need for Speed or Burnout series. Yep, you know? exactly. Give me Cruising USA any day. Split Second was a very good racing game. I haven't tried that one. I want to. That That's a great game. It's from Disney Interactive. Uh-huh. But the, the the levels would change based on events that would happen in game. Uh-huh. What are you saying, uh, Riz? Like, Sorry. What's that? Riz was saying no, something. No love for Stuntman? Stuntman, <laughs> wow. Stuntman, that's a blast from the past. That was that's a, that was weird, that's a weird callback. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it I wasn't even we, a racing game. I think I remember you talking me into that one. Yeah, I never jumped on it. All right, okay. um, but yeah, eleven tracks. They said they're gonna ha- have like downloadable content. Um, but like Fuzz said, uh, in the last game, they said they were gonna have tracks for down- downloadable content, and none of them actually came out. So who knows? None of the ones that he they said about stuff anyways. happens. But uh, now we're gonna move on to our favorite game, Call of Duty Goats. Uh, Yep. Chachi and Riz, I believe you guys beat the game. I played it. I didn't play the single player yet. Uh, without spoiling anything, how was the game? Holy balls. Without spoiling anything? Yeah, no spoilers because I didn't play it yet. And I just, a lot of I people just, probably didn't play it yet either that are listening just, to this podcast. I just summed it up perfectly. Holy balls. Holy um, balls. I, uh, a lot of the sequences are also kind of revealed in the commercial, so I mean, you yeah, can speak yeah, to yeah. Those I mean, like, don't least, spoil you know? the ending or the twist or anything. Yeah, yeah, like that. yeah. Like you could well, talk about I, space because here, we all saw the, the thing. thing. I, uh, I bought the game the day it came out, um, and I'd played it before we did the show, and I, I stopped, and I'm like, all right, you know what? I, I'll play a little bit later as well, and it was about. I don't know, one o'clock because I was on vacation. So it was about 1 a.m. And I got to a point in the game where it pissed me off so bad <laughs> that I finished the game just because I had to kill everyone. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'm not nice. even kidding. I, I I was halfway through a mission. I'm like, you know what? When I'm done here, I'm done. I'll finish it tomorrow. Uh, a, a certain event happened. It pissed me off. I finished the game. Because I felt that every enemy in the game deserved to have a bullet in them. Wow. <laughs> and Either that they or did. I stabbed them. Yeah. Are they, are they called the Federation? Yeah, yeah the Federation. Yeah. Every member of the Federation deserved to die um, at a certain point in the game. And so I made it so. You know, I, I find it interesting. I'm like, you know, we just pulled out the trailer there. And I noticed the scene the commercials lately on TV. Um I don't think I'm very far into the game, and I've seen most of the scenes in the commercial, which means, what the hell do I still have to come, you know? Oh, uh, it's coming, sorry. <laughs> I, I the mean, stuff that you have to come is amazing. Yeah. Um, like I said in, in my uh, review, um, I started with Modern Warfare 3, um, and I got that because you guys were all playing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I, I was on multiplayer. I barely touched uh, campaign mode until you guys stopped playing online. Yeah. And that's when I went back and I, I destroyed campaign mode. And I was all right with it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't anything to write home about. Um, Black Ops 2 came out. I did not touch campaign mode until I had dominated multiplayer. Mm-hmm. I was completely done with multiplayer. I had master prestige. There was nothing else for me to do. And then I uh, I played the campaign mode. And once again, wasn't bad, 
nothing to write home about. Um, this one, uh, I got home. It was about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and like I said, I was on vacation. So I ventured out of my house. I went downtown, picked the game up, came home. And uh, I tried to get on multiplayer and the servers weren't up yet. So I'm like, oh, so I have to play campaign mode right now? <laughs> like I went in being forced to play campaign mode and ended up destroying campaign mode before I even touched multiplayer. <laughs> and it was worth all of the six hours. Nice. And that pretty much sums it up there. This was one of the better um, single-player modes in Call of Duty since they were talking about WW2 in the game. I, mm, I like more, more Modern Warfare 2s. Uh, you haven't played this game yet. You haven't beaten this well, game I, yet. I haven't it. played this one, but um, I, I, I really like Modern Warfare 2's campaign. Then. Just but, uh, it, Bobby... Yes. When you're done with the story mode, mm -hmm. you're going to want the next one immediately. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, you're and not we have to wait two years. Waste. And that's something. Like, I started off with Modern Warfare 3, and, and really the last two uh, really kind of ended the arcs. So this is the first one that's probably starting a new one, right? Yes. So I, I think that's another thing. I mean, you got to <clears> think, Modern Warfare was an early uh, Xbox 360 title mm -hmm. that was you know, one of the first ones to kind of demonstrate what's going on there. So, uh, so it, it's come a long way. Yeah. Um, but no, right. I, I, oh. I, I, it's a great campaign, but everything I, I've experienced, I've been up through, I can't remember where I left off. It was a few days ago because I was doing double XP weekend. Uh, but I know a building has fallen on me. Uh, so I mean, <laughs> again, very uh, very cinematic, crazy, insane stuff. I love it. Um, I think I'm Riz, uh, when we were playing for the 25 hours, uh, our friend Tang was playing with us, and and Fuzzy, Fuzzy was playing with us too. And there was one of the levels. I think it was the, was it the baseball field? Oh yeah, that the, was the, in the there. baseball yeah, stadium. Yeah. Um, it blew up. And completely changed the map. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, the in the multiplayer, it, in one map, if you're losing, I think it's just if you're losing, it will change everything for you. Or somebody gets like a kill streak. Or something it. like that, yeah. And just nukes everything. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I was, I was stunned. It's awesome. I was stunned. Well, it's like well, even even in, in uh, free fall, like every once in a while, you get the giant like building shift, right? I've been downloaded, uh, and yeah. that like will happen at the most inopportune time. And now it's like, oh, now I'm in this. Now everything's shaking. Now I have to respond to that while everybody's trying to kill me. You know, <laughs> um, it, it, definitely definitely more environmentally uh, interesting uh, 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 levels because the levels before again, like I always, you know, they're a sandbox. They have all these things to walk around, but nothing really truly interactive. And it feels like they're getting more into that with, the, with this time around. I, I like it. And there's one mode uh, you guys should play. It's called Infestation. Played a little bit of it. It's I I, I'm in. I'm into that mode more. Mm -hmm. Every time I play it, I'm, I I want to play it more. I was pretty much. Oh, go ahead. I I pretty much uh, it's nine on one against one zombie infested person who has a knife. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that <laughs> infested person, if he stabs you, you are also inf in infected, and now you have a knife. And so on and so forth. I've got a spoon. Yes. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Um, Chachi. Uh, I, there, there's something. Uh, the uh, multiplayer mode in this one isn't as good as Black Ops Two, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I was kind of disappointed. Um, All the maps are giant. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. and that's the thing. It, it's a. 
and I hate to say it, but it's a camper's paradise. Oh, mm. yeah. Um, and, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not an expert Call of Duty player. Um, mm. I, I'm not about to go pro anytime soon. But I'm not bad. And it, it's it, on Black Ops 2, it was rare for me to have multiple games in a row where I had double the amount of deaths as I did kills. Depending on the group you get in this one, it is very easy uh, for you to get screwed. Hey, Chachi. Yeah. Did you just finish a game where you have double kill, double kill, more than double the kills and you have the of uh or double deaths than you had kills no um the games i were playing i actually did pretty decent in okay, I, was, um, I was gonna say you sounded like you were just upset because you just had that happen <laughs> no no yesterday i was royally pissed off I, like i i played uh probably an hour and 20 minutes worth and didn't have a positive game at all and it was because no, as soon as I had spawned, no matter where I went, I died. I, I, if I took more than three steps, it was a miracle. Yeah, there was a, a video online I saw today. Um, somebody was – some one of his friends he was playing was on the other team, I guess. And every time his friend would spawn, he'd shoot him, run around in a circle, and his friend would spawn in the same exact spot, and he'd kill him again, run around in a circle, kill him again, run around in a circle, and kill him again. So they said there's something like really wrong with the spawning in this game. Yeah, I've noticed that too. I, I know several instances where I spawned, and there was a guy right there ready to kill me. I'm like, yeah. that's... That shouldn't happen, right? It's right. one thing when, like, back on uh, Nuketown, when they just enemies were everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, but it shouldn't happen the way it's happening here, you know? Yeah. So. Well, Nuketown was a small, little compact map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is there. There were times where I couldn't see anybody for miles, and I was just walking in a straight line, and then all of a sudden, I got shot in the head and died. And then I don't know what happened. Right. I do like I do like the castle map though. Yeah, the, the maps they're 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 brilliantly done. Visually, they just have a yeah. few things to fix. You know what could really help this game? They need to release Rust as a DLC package. A throwback. A throwback. A throwback. That's the throwback map everybody wants. Dome. One more game in, in, instead of... Well, they can't dome. do Dome, because dome, dome was... Uh... Dome. Wait, no, Dome was Modern Warfare 3, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, so they could do that one, too. Do both. Dome. One of our small do, maps back, damn it. Do Rust inside of Dome. Oh, man. <laughs> that would happen. That could be. That could, could happen, too, because Rust was very, Rust very, 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 very small. Dome. <laughs> Holy so, crap. I just All right, blew um, your mind, didn't I? What's that? My mind just, just blown. I just blew yep. your mind on episode 69. <laughs> Jeez. All right. With that, we're going to move on to the boss battle question, uh, which is, what was the longest you've ever played one game? Wow. Who okay. wants to go first? <laughs> In one sitting? Um, In one sitting. Okay, um... Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. It's a good one. And I played, I've played that for uh, eight hours, maybe, maybe more. I don't okay. know. I don't keep track of this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that. And there was one level in particular that I kept going to, and failing miserably at and that was because I don't know why because I was a young young person back then uh, but I remember just playing it over and over and over again and then at the final boss I just kept going and going and going and then I lost all track of time so about eight hours maybe Give or take. Okay. 
Anybody else have one? Um, according to Raptor, I played Assassin's Creed 4 for 13 hours. Wow, straight? Um, yeah, but um, that's that's a damned lie. <laughs> There's no way I played that game for 13 hours straight. Um, Did you pause the game, walk away, do something else, then come back to it? Yeah. But well, it wasn't that could like be an hour's worth. But, uh, it, it, but uh, it would have to be uh, Final Fantasy VII or Ocarina of Time. Um, Final Fantasy VII I played for probably 12 hours straight. And Ocarina of Time was probably uh, 9 to 10 hours. And it was because I didn't own those games. Mm-hmm. So I had to beat them and hurry up and get them back. So... Oh, the rental days. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would do it. Sir, do you have one? I don't I, I don't know. I can't think of like long play sessions that we might have done. I, I I had to have been Wind Waker and Metroid Prime had to have been some pretty long ones, uh, like on the weekends. Because uh, I I know one issue I have with playing video games is I, I can't see, like, okay, I only have an hour to play this game. Like, I feel like by the time I get into something like a Wind Waker, like a, uh, a Bioshock, if, by the time I got my bearings again, I'm ready to, I have to quit. You know what I mean? Which mm-hmm. leads me to not playing a lot of those long-form games like that. Um, so, yeah, so it's been a while, and, and usually it's like, I have to have, like, four hours chunked out in order to play a game like that, to feel like I got some progress out of it. Um... So, jeez, oh, I, I, I can't, I gotta remember what, when I started the marathons for Metal Gear Solid 2, because I just remember ending it, like, dead tired at 4 or 5 in the morning, and that's usually <laughs> how we played, was like, you know, you start playing, like, around, I don't know, 7, 8 o'clock, and then you just keep going until you can't anymore. Uh, yep. So, I mean, which would lead to, I guess, about 8-hour shifts, um, so I, I think that was pretty standard back in the day. Um. I, I had a couple. My I, I remember staying up late to play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Um, I remember waking up and looking outside, and there would be a bird chirping, and it was light. Oh yeah. <laughs> and just being like, where did the time go? Um, another one would be Final Fantasy X. I know Chachi's gonna get mad at that one. Uh, I played that like so long into the night, um, and my saddest one I've mentioned on the podcast before. Um, Rampage. Hmm. Played it for eight hours. Couldn't. I wanted to beat the game. Kept going and going and going and going. And then at the end of the game, got that faithful screen that said, Thank you for playing. And that was it. <laughs> so, all right. That's going to do it for us this week. Um, you can follow us on at InsertCoinTB. On, twi- on the Twitters, um, you can uh, go to our website, insertcorntobegin.com. And you can still the, donate if you want. You can, yeah, you can still donate. Um, at our our uh, links on the side there on the page. We're, um, I think, we're not going to play for 25 hours again. I think donations are still up till year. what, December 31st? I think so. You can still donate. Um, get us above that uh, $106 mark. Um, <laughs> But yeah, that'll do it for us this week. Um, our challenge is maximum carnage for either Super, Nint- or Super Nintendo or Genesis. Um, so have a good night and game over. <laughs>